So we're here at the CQ of the Year Awards for 2017. I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Vaibhav from Tata Communications, who is kindly supporting our awards this evening. Great to see you this evening. Thanks, Graham. It's a pleasure to be here. And I've seen already that uh, the company's really come together under the Think Transform tagline. I was wondering if you could explain the reasoning behind that. Sure. Uh, thanks for asking that, Graham. A lot of people uh, you know, take us as Tata Communications. But just to clarify, we are Tata Communications Transformation Services. For brevity, we call it TCTS. Transformation is like our DNA. We were born to do the uh, integration, consolidation, and centralization of several acquisitions that Tatacom did uh, a decade back. And that's how uh, we started our journey. So uh, today, with uh, Telco Transformation being so much in prominence, uh, uh, there is uh, so much work to be done in terms of getting the telcos to uh, you know, start to deliver on-demand OTT-like services, and that's what the customers are demanding. So we thought uh, you know, the overall messaging to the market, we looked at, and I personally like those two words, think, transform, two verbs, and they're very powerful. They're both action-oriented, very powerful. And we didn't stop there. We said, think, transform, but we also went ahead and defined what transformation should be looked at. So in a nutshell, we call it, uh, uh, launching a smarter, faster, uh, more efficient, and virtualized communication network. So that's what we're trying to build, and that's what the operators are trying to do. So what other transformational areas are you focusing on at the present? Graham, uh, earlier this year uh, at the Mobile World Congress, uh, we launched uh, the Telco Transformation Framework. It's very interesting how we started to build this journey. About a year back, we uh, jointly with our uh, knowledge partners, OM Consulting, we launched a primary survey with operators, about 60 operators around the world, and to understand what the transformation priorities look like. And we gathered, uh, you know, we built uh, six different market segments based on various business influences, like the capital intensity, the overall scope of operations, the international operations, and the expanse of operations that they have. Also, uh, the you know the churn, uh, the uh, propensity to take risks, and things like that. Based on such business influences, we looked at defining six market segments, and then further we looked at six domains, namely uh, BSS, OSS, the network management side, and one could argue that network management could have been part of OSS as well, but we wanted to double click that area and see what's really coming out there. And then there are more, I mean, areas like uh, network technology side, which is more to do with 5G and, uh, you know, and there are very interesting results that we found there. So we have a nice six by six matrix, which gives uh, the operators a view of what their peers are doing across the industry uh, in different parts of the world. And uh, also it gives, the we overlay, uh, based on our experience and uh, of doing multiple transformation projects across the network lifecycle, we uh, overlay the customer journey saying how the telco transformation journey needs to be. So essentially it looks at moving from the legacy and the network centric operations to more service centric and customer centric operations, putting the customer at the center of the whole thing, and then enabling all those pieces of the puzzle so that you, know, you start running the 5G like operations even before the 5G. And we classically call it getting yourself 5G ready because like you know, there are pieces of virtualization to be looked at, there are OSS orchestration to be looked at for capacity, and uh, you know, you could look at small cell deployment, head nets, uh, you know, all of those kind of areas, right? So those are some of the other areas that we look at as transformation. One area you haven't mentioned is, of course, the Internet of Things. I mean, as you know, there have been a lot of conversations this evening about the revenue opportunity, the business opportunity really. We're talking millions, some are even saying billions of dollars. In fact, Graham, I've heard analysts say and report that it's trillions of dollars of worth of economy. But while that is said, it's easier said than done. And uh, thanks for asking that question. We are uh, currently, as we speak, we are deploying one of the largest IoT networks back in India. Now, this we're doing it for our parent company, Data Communications. Uh, the technology was, uh, 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 you know, the choice that Tata Communications made. So it's a LoRa-based network that we're rolling out. We've already activated more than 12,000 circuits. It's a pan-India uh, network that we're rolling out. But there are very interesting things that uh, we uh, came across when we started. So clearly Tata Communications said, I don't want to deal with multiple vendors. Whoever is managing our complete uh, network rollout and operations has to also onboard our customers. 
and uh, look at building the vertical integrations and the solutions. Now, a very interesting thing to look at in IoT space is that no two solutions are alike. 60% of it is all coming from the technology and the platform and the network, but then there is other 40% which has to be rapidly stitched together. So that's where the idea of you know, starting to build the ecosystem uh, you know, developed. And we at TCTS are actively now building, uh, eco uh, you know, uh, engaging the entire eco sensor ecosystem. And, and also on the other hand, we are also engaging with the application ecosystem to see uh, so that we can bundle all of this together and take the whole of the proposition as an end-to-end -end orchestrator and as a ready-to-deploy solution to the operators. It's a great potential, I would agree. I think it's just a matter that you know, operation, operators have, to, uh, have already started that journey and uh, it's very encouraging to see that uh, there are more and more operators uh, going that route. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks, Graham. It's wonderful talking to you. Have a great evening. Cheers.